Hi, this is Nick with the Boxer Institute. We're going to be doing our first video lecture in a series. I'm calling this one Identifying the Objective. Now this whole lesson is about a very simple question. And that question is, what is debate? It seems kind of obvious because you do debate, but I'm asking this question for a couple of reasons. The first one is, it's important to identify everything that's going on in a debate round, even the things that don't seem important. And also, you can't get better at something if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. So hopefully by asking this question, we can get to some pretty important points that'll help you in your career. Now, the first thing you probably thought of was argumentation or arguing. And that's one thing debate is. It's about critically comparing your arguments and the arguments that your opponent has. Debate is also about persuasion. I'm going to use an example from the novice topic. So the argument that says that civil disobedience is morally justified because it allows people to have their voices heard when the process doesn't allow them to have their voices heard is one argument. Another argument that you might use in response is that civil disobedience isn't morally legitimate because it undermines the legitimacy of the democratic process. Now, there isn't a reason why one argument automatically defeats the other. This is an area where things like persuasion and spin and characterization come into play. These are the sort of soft skills that mirror the hard skills of argumentation, and you have to do both. You have to be right, and you have to convince a judge that you're right. The third thing that debate is about is clash. And what I mean by clash is that the arguments on both sides have to actually interact with each other. So some of you may have noticed that the arguments that I showed for the last example don't actually talk about the exact same thing. They're both reasons why civil disobedience may or may not be legitimate, but they don't actually directly interact with each other. And in debate, it's important that they do. To give you an example of what I mean by clash, consider this really simple argument. So I would argue our local sports team is going to win the World Series because we have the best pitching, and the team with the best pitching almost always wins the World Series. Now, you can get clashed by saying that no, your team doesn't have the best pitching, or by saying actually the team with the best pitching usually doesn't win. You wouldn't actually get clashed if you were arguing something like, our team has the best shortstop. You can see that the shortstop argument doesn't deal with any of the links that the pitching argument is making, and that's what debate is all about. It's about critically engaging with the arguments that your opponent is making, not just lining up talking points next to each other. And the final thing is that debate is about fun. You have an opportunity to argue the way you want to argue, and it's important to not lose sight of that. There isn't one right style of debate. The right style for you is the style that feels best for you. So you have a lot of time to sort of experiment and try new things, and debate is a great opportunity to do that. This concludes the first video. There will be videos up every week on the YouTube channel and on the blog, so be sure to follow along, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye!